Hello, thank you for being in a new video. This time I have with me here the MetaQuest 3. We're going to unbox them because they've become more popular now that the Apple Vision Pros have been released. So, let's get started. Its price is $499. That is $3,000 cheaper than the Apple Vision Pro which costs $3,499. In this case, we are talking about the 128GB storage edition. So, in that aspect, it could fall a little short compared to the Apple Vision Pro, which its base version is 256GB. Although, honestly, the difference doesn't seem to be as abysmal as it is in price. Obviously, this one will have technologies perhaps a bit more limited, but that is what I am most interested in discovering in this video, if indeed the difference in technology is as great as the price represents. So, without further ado, let's open the box. You should know that these gold glasses do not have official distribution in Mexico and neither do the Apple Vision Pro. But it is much easier to get these glasses because the Apple Vision Pro have a fully customized purchase process in which you must scan your face and many more things. So it can be too complex to buy it directly online from Mexico or from another country. The ideal if you want to buy the Apple Vision Pro is to go all the way to the United States to buy them. That's why I decided to buy these glasses directly online in Mercado Libre and I bought the model of... So look, the box is pretty compact and let me see what else is coming because it looks like that's going to be it. In fact, it's a very small box then. Obviously, from the packaging, we'll notice distinct differences against the Apple Vision Pros which will have much more attractive or stylish packaging but I feel that packaging is the least of what should be of interest in a device. Anyway, notice that it does come with these things to open it easily. Let's flip it over on the other side and do the same process. We're going to remove this first container and now we're looking at a simpler box. We are going to uncover it this way and we will find directly with the headset and its controls. Here it tells us that we're going to scan a QR code in order to get started but it looks like it's pretty straightforward. Then, let's show the setup process as well. Unlike the Apple Vision Pro, this one does include controls with joysticks and buttons, even side buttons, triggers. So it seems to me that you have a greater number of options when you're controlling any application or game compared to the Apple Vision Pro. But if you want, you can also control simply with your finger and clicking, just like you do in the Vision Pro, but we will see it now. For now, let's take out the headset so we can see it directly, because another difference will be that this headset can be used with your own glasses, if you have a special prescription. While the Apple Vision Pro, you must buy them with integrated prescription lenses. That is, if you wear glasses, you could not lend your Apple Vision Pro, while these gold lenses, yes. So, I honestly see more convenience in this proposal, but let me put them on. We're going to scan the QR code to see what it directs us to, and it's just going to take us to download the MetaQuest app. So let's go ahead and install it and then we'll start the setup process. So you know, I just installed the app and obviously you have to log in with your Facebook or Instagram account and in this case the MetaQuest 2's come up which I already have previously linked and now we're going to link a new device which is this third generation. As you know there are several models then you simply have to choose it and in this case it tells me to put on the glasses to connect them to a Wi-Fi network to be able to continue. I'm, uh, I'm going to remove these plastics that come with the glasses and that's it. Obviously you have to adjust them well and this part you can remove it to be able to play some other different adjustments to have the best possible experience. And in this case I must say that it is a mainly plastic material and probably that is one of the main differences against Apple's proposal. I have not had the Apple Vision Pro in my hands, but I must assume that its feel will be much more premium than this device where plastic predominates. But obviously that in a device of these characteristics, I think you have to give priority to lightness, but let's test it. At this moment, this device is turning on. I still can't show you what I'm seeing, but I'm only seeing the Meta logo. At this moment, it is already telling me to remove the plastics that come with the controls and in fact, I already have the ability to see the outside. It doesn't look as sharp as I would like, but let me start using these devices. Let's see, 
let's remove this and there it is it's already detected it and I'm going to remove the other plastic and it looks like it's already detected it too now it's just telling me to simply select with this button and I can move through the menu with the joystick as well so at this point I'm just setting up what one sets up as usual on this type of device language and other things he is more or less explaining to me how the setting of this device is which has two simple settings on the back you simply move it horizontally and on the top let's say you can get to adjust this part as well with a simple velcro uh, the point is to have a comfortable experience and so far I feel like it's not bothering me so let's select that we already want to continue it keeps giving me some instructions for the correct adjustment of these lenses and at this point it's telling me that at the bottom there's a wheel through which I can simply adjust the lenses so that I can have an extremely sharp display and I think that's already at the most optimal setting there. I must say that the screen is not ultra high resolution but I think it's fine. Right now I'm just going to connect to the network by simply scanning a QR. I must say that I can't see the cell phone clearly so I'm just going to try to connect this. Ideally I will remove my glasses for this setup and I must say the change is quite drastic. In real life there is too much light and through the glasses it felt like the light was much lower. I have my wireless network QR code ready and now I am going to scan it with the glasses. It doesn't seem to be able to scan this QR at any distance. There it is, it has detected it. Now it says continue the configuration in the mobile app and that's it. It says an update is downloading and there are six minutes left. Okay. While this is happening on the glasses, let me record my screen. Right now, it is asking me to set up my avatar. I had already created one since I was using last generation, so I'm going to keep it as is. I can add my PayPal account to make some payment for the games. I'm going to do that later, and now it's going to give me some security tips. Then it gives us a health and safety warning, although it just tells us to accept it, and that's it. It obviously gives us the page where we can explore all these warnings. Uh, I don't know if Apple gives these warnings in their setup process as well, but it's a full PDF that we can explore. I asked AI to give us a summary of this PDF. So it says it's a guide. It provides warnings on how to use this safely. And it says it's not suitable for everyone. Especially for children, it says, or smaller or people with pre-existing medical conditions. A doctor should be consulted before using this type of device. He also gives us a guide on how to have a good fit, the safe zones and other things that in general we had already seen it in the last generation. But notice it tells us that there could be some symptoms such as dizziness, convulsions, visual fatigue, hearing loss or contagious diseases. It is recommended to take frequent breaks and stop using them if we feel any of these discomforts or symptoms. So definitely having a screen here in such close proximity is going to cause us some discomfort. But I feel like Apple hasn't given much emphasis to these warnings. Well, we're going to leave this up to here and now let's get on with configuring. It looks like the app is still loading or has stopped responding, I don't know. While it's reacting, I'm going to see if the glasses are showing any progress yet. Well, it tells me, pair the viewer with the MetaQuest application to continue and it gives me a numeric code to add in my application so let's see if we can do that the application seems to have stopped responding completely this is something that I don't think will happen on the Apple Vision Pro those will probably have a much faster and more efficient connection so let's give it another try I'm going to resume the configuration I accept the security thing and now it says designed to protect your privacy let's tell it I want to continue let's select here that I don't want to share data and now it says enable hand and body tracking. This is something that a lot of people didn't know that you can already do from these inexpensive glasses. So that was the biggest new feature on the Apple Vision Pro. We're going to put to you here that we want to activate this body tracking part. Right now it's looking for the visor to be able to pair and finally it looks like it's done. We're going to enter the code that's appearing on the viewfinder. I can more or less see my cell phone although not very clear so I'm going to enter this code and that's it the devices are pairing right now and let me see if they are done so I can show you what I am seeing right now 
the glasses just suddenly turned off they just turned back on right now he's giving me an audio introduction and he's going to explain everything to me now you're already seeing what I'm seeing so let's take a look here notice how I can see around me without too much trouble and notice how it also detects my hands so let me see if I can just click this way let's see there it is there you go it says create the boundary stand up and go to a clear space to create a boundary in this case I need to set up my safe area to be able to move around when I'm wearing these glasses so let me set up this space and that's it at this point I switched audio so I can have the space much clearer so it says create the boundary stand up and go to a clear space let's select that we want to start and now we move and notice how it automatically recognizes all of our space in this part and it also recognizes the safe area and notice how it can easily add all of this space so I think this will be enough obviously I can go through much more space and that's it let's say I want to continue so just like that I can give you select it says adjust the limit if necessary I think that's perfectly adequate so let's put confirm that's it we're going to go through the control and it says press the target button let's see I think it's this button and that's it at this point it opened my control panel here we already have then our screen I have some friend requests it seems to me that one of them is Martian so why don't we add him in this case I can browse various content but specifically what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at tips and tutorials let's open this up we're going to adjust the universal menu and watch as it gives us the options to change views and other things and while I have the controllers in my hands I can't use the hand gestures without the buttons but notice how I could also get to simply move this window this way and place it where I want it and that's where it's going to stay and if I turn to other parts that window is still set here so it seems to me that it has a quite practical and nice operation let's see if I can select other things here I can go to applications it's giving me some suggestions for installing applications let me see I think we're going to install absolutely everything that can be installed and we're going to select the install option that's where we're at and I don't know if I can scroll this way yes watch uh, I can scroll just fine like that uh, so I found the configuration process very fast quite practical and also the use of the lenses I think is very good only I think the main difference with respect to the Vision Pro will be that the visualization of the real world is not so advanced because it does become very blurry but let's see how I can perfectly use the browser we're gonna log into my page and we're also going to see how the keyboard works let's see here we are and let's see the keyboard can become quite complex in other viewers let's see in this one I'm going to put ESA let's see ESA perfect it seems so Martial more or less okay it's a matter of getting used to it possibly but the difference here is that you can actually look at other areas while you're controlling unlike the Apple Vision Pro where you have to look specifically at the button you want to press so let's look again Isa and I'm going to put my hands there I am pretty much okay it's a little slow typing but possibly I should get used to it a little bit uh, let's keep going there I am finishing typing I think I got it and let's hit enter so there I am inside my web page everything is perfect I can get around just fine let's add a new tab and I'm gonna go to Google just to give you an example and let's also see if I can get this window out of here uh, let's see no let me see what it says see how this way I can open another window well no it looks like I thought it was going to open another window but it actually moved the same window I already had I'm going to open the camera let's see uh, I can open it this way here in the center I'm going to move forward with the configuration and in this case I can have my camera tools as well let's see let's close this window it's a little complex to control it this way but I insist that this moving the window around what I wanted is pretty cool what I would like is to be able to open two windows of the same application let me see let's see some other tutorials like this one that says select to switch between your room and virtual spaces okay 
it's this button and notice how now I'm no longer seeing my room but I'm seeing a completely virtual world where more things are. Obviously if I'm going to leave the safe space notice how it gives me a warning because at this point I'm no longer seeing through the camera so if I were to try to get out of this unsafe space I get this option. But I can perfectly walk in the whole area that I established as a safe place without any fear that I'm going to trip over something and my windows continue to appear in this same place. I can continue to explore the content in this way. And notice how also by double tapping the side of my viewfinder I'm supposed to be able to switch between the view of the real room, of real life and the immersive view that is this virtual world. So those would be the options. Obviously the graphics are not that advanced. See there I am looking in the mirror in my avatar. Obviously I can also customize this virtual world here in this part. For example I'm going to select studio. It's going to be installed because it's going to be downloaded from the internet. Now I'm going to apply this change and watch. We have my studio here. It looks very nice. It's very practical actually. It's interesting to use virtual reality glasses. Personally, I don't feel so comfortable using these experiences, possibly because I wear glasses and the experience is not 100% perfect. But I tried MetaQuest 2 and in this third version, what I like the most is the fact of being able to switch to the physical world in a simpler way. And notice how we have several environments that we can use and we can also change the theme of the screen, change several things. In fact, it's quite a complete operating system that Meta already offers us. But let's go back to the application so you can see how we even get to have WhatsApp for MetaQuest. Let's open it just to explore it and see what it tells us. I guess it's going to ask us to scan a QR. We're going to select the language and I'm going to tell it that I want to continue, accept and continue. And just like it does on the phone, I'm going to choose my number here and so on. For some reason at this point we didn't manage to link the WhatsApp even though we did insert the code and absolutely everything. Then in another video I will tell you how WhatsApp works but for now I must tell you that I find the experience interesting. Notice how applications like Netflix and YouTube are also available. In this case there are apps that forcefully ask me to use the controllers so you can't use everything absolutely with your hands. I'm going to cancel to stay using this with my hands and uh, obviously we're going to have games and other things. In this case one of the most popular games is already being installed but I think we're going to leave it at that for now. I hope you like this video. Before I say goodbye I wanted to go to YouTube so you can more or less see what's in this application. Let's see if we can search. There it is. Let's search with voice. Isa Marcial and we can see my videos here. Let's see for example this count. There we are. Well, first it's showing an ad that obviously we can't omit. And there it is. There it is. I paused the video. We have here the list of recent videos or suggested videos. And we have here the channel information. This would be the experience when watching a YouTube video. And we can also select an environment here. We're going to put this in and we can just switch between a dark setting or a light setting. Or we can select neither. But, well, this I think doesn't make that much difference. We're going to put view in pane. So you might as well have your YouTube window playing here without the need to have the whole immersive experience. Let's finally go to the store so you can see very quickly what you could install. There are several games available here. We have Xbox Cloud Gaming. I hadn't seen that. So we can get to play directly here with our controllers. I think that would be a very interesting experience that we will try later on. We can also exercise with the glasses. And I think I'm going to try that as well. Many more games available. Uh, the platform really looks very complete. There are quite a few games. What I would like to know is if there are more streaming applications because for example in the Vision Pro there is Disney. But here I don't seem to see it. I'm going to specifically select the entertainment category and let's see what comes up here. Well it seems like there's still a lot of games coming out. In general games I think there's a lot. I'm going to go to apps to see if any other things come up. There it is. Microsoft Mesh. I don't know what it works for, but it looks like you could use it for sort of video calling. That's interesting. That's one of the new releases. But watch, we also have virtual desktop 
probably to use your computer directly from these devos. And uh, well, there's a whole host of applications. I'm honestly amazed at the number of applications that are available on this platform. Piano Vision to Dance to Exercise. But it looks like Disney won't be available here. Let's search to see if we find something. As you can see, there is only one Disney game. Roblox is present here. I will tell you more details in the review because my battery is running out. In fact, I will also tell you more or less how much battery is consumed when using these devices because I have about 11% left. For now, let's leave this video up to here. I hope you liked it. If you did, you know you can let me know. And we'll see you next time.